Hello friends. So in this video, we will continue our first multiplication. In our last video, we have seen the process of recording the multiplier using bit pair recording with the help of puts algo that we have seen. So this example we were trying to do plus 11 into minus 9. We have taken the numbers using two's complement method. Then next part is the main part of our algo that is bit pair recording of our multiplier. What is our multiplier? Minus 9, right? So, see, uh, to my, for minus 9, uh, to do the bit pair recording, we will write it properly here, 1, 0, triple 1, right? So, see, here to the right of this one, 1, 0 is assumed. Then, using 3 bits, we will do the recording, 1, 1, 0. So, see, if you remember that table, 1, 1, 0, this is 1, right? So, it was your actually uh, minus 1. If we flip the table, right, means the entries in the table from positive to negative, then it will be minus 1. Last video, we have talked about this. Then the next, we need to do the recording. Then this one, again, we will consider. And from this side, two more bits. So, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. This is positive side. 0, 1, 1. So, it was your minus 2. Sorry, plus 2. It was your plus 2, if you remember, right? And then, see here, here this 0 will be considered. This 1 is there, but I require 3 number of bits to do the uh, that pairing. So, I need to extend my sign bit. Because by extending sign bit only, I can increase the width of my multiplier. So, this is 1. So, here I will take 1, 1. So, it is what? 1, 1, 0. So, 1, 1, 0 will give me what? Minus 1. See, the points that you need to remember is that whatever recorded bit will come that you put below the middle bit. This is my i, this is my i minus 1, this is my i plus 1. So, you put the recorded bit at i ith position. Then next when you consider the recording, then whatever you have considered before, from there you take one bit, then next two more bits. This is how you need to proceed. Rest of the things are simple if you remember the table or you can directly calculate also. I have shown you in my last video how to get this entry. So see here, it will be minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. See, this 3, 1, 1, 0 is your minus 1. Then next is this one. Again, I need to consider. So 0, 1, 1, this plus side, plus 2. Then next is. 0, 1, then one more bit is required. So that is 1, it is minus 1. Please understand, I have extended the sign bit, right? So sign bit was 1, so another sign bit 1 is taken. So now my multiplier has become minus 1 plus 2 minus 1, right? And see, if you multiply something by 2, that is what? 2 to the power 1. So multiplying something by 2 to the power 1 is equivalent to shifting the number to the left by one bit position. Suppose this is my 4, right? This is 4. And if I shift it to the left, then what it will become? This 1 will come here, 0, 0. Bracketed position will be filled up by 0. What is this? This one is 8. So 4 into 2 to the power 1 is what? 8. That I can achieve by shifting the number to the left by one bit position. So, if I need to multiply something by 2, I will do that. Minus 1 means what? Take the 2's complement of the multiplier, multiplicand, and plus 1 is directly take the multiplicand. And if it is minus 2, I need to multiply something by minus 2. Then what I will do? First, I will take the 2's complement of my multiplicand. And then only I will do the shift. I will take the 2's complement and then I will do the shift. Minus 2, right? You please remember this. Then rest part is simple. So see, x, some, uh, something I need to multiply by minus 2. Then what I have to do? Take the 2's complement and then shift left by 1 position. 1 position shifting is multiplying by 2. And for minus sign, take the 2's complement. And the order is first take the 2's complement and then do the shifting. Minus 1 multiplying means only take the 2's complement. And plus 2 multiplying means what? Shift the operand by one bit position to the left, right? This part is clear. Then next we will proceed with our multiplication. 
what is our multiplicand our multiplicand is plus 11 plus 11 is this one i have written here plus 11 then i need to multiply with by minus 9 minus 9 has now become this one so i have to write minus 1 just after this one right so here minus 1 will come here then one position you leave then my plus 2 one position you leave then it is minus 1 right so now i need to start so see what i am doing is minus 1 into this one that means what i have to take what the two's complement of my multiplicand here right so what is my multiplicand this one what is the two's complement of that? 10101. One, one. So that I will write here. 10101. One, one. Then this I have written. Again, see, I have already be mentioned this before. If I am multiplying two 5 bit numbers, my resultant bit will be what? 10 bits. So another 5 bits I will extend the partial product. By what? By the sign bit. What is my sign bit in this uh, partial product? 1. So this one is extended to another 5 bit positions to make it off length 10 bits. This part is clear. Hope this part is clear. Then next is, next is into plus 2. Plus 2 means what? Shift the multiplicand to the left by 1 bit position. Right? So see, if I do so, then where at all I need to write the partial product? See, this position now. So here only you need to write the partial product. So you need to shift it to the left, right? So what I will write? Here see, vacated position will be filled up by 0. Then this one will come here, 1, 0, 1, then this 0. So this one is my partial product. Then I need to do the sign extension to make it of the required length. Please keep special attention on this part. Whenever you are doing the sign extension, do not think that it is always 1 or it is always 0. Whatever is your MSB, that you copy to the higher order bits. Here it was 1, so I have made it 1, 1. Here it is 0, so I made it 0, 0. This you need to remember. Then next one is into minus 1. So if it is into minus 1, what I will do? Again the same process. I will take the 2's complement of it. So already I have written the 2's complement of it. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is this will come here where wherever this one is there so from there i need to start right because one position already i have left right so wherever it is one is there there you start writing we have written 10101 then i need to do the sign extension so this is one once again i am telling you please take care of your sign extension whatever is your msb that only you copy into the higher order bits because while doing numericals if you are in a flow you will always make it 1, 1 or always it is 0, 0. Then you will end up at a wrong result, right? Then this part, if it is fine, now nothing is there. Only simple addition is there. So see, here it will be 1. Then next bit will be 0. Next bit will be 1. Next is also 1. Here three 1s are there. So it is 1. 1 carry is coming here. So two ones means what? It is 0. Now see, here 1, 1 is there. So four ones means what? 4, 1, 0, 0. So you write here 0, right? Here 0, right? And then this carry will come here. Now 2 ones, uh, this one is directly coming. Here 3 ones means it is 1. 1 carry will go. So 3 ones means here 1. And that last carry will be discarded. So this is your result. You can see here whether it is same or not. See, we are getting the same only. 3 ones are there. 3 ones are 0, 1, 0, 1 then two zeros, then these three ones. So we got the same answer. You need to do your addition process very carefully, right? Three ones means what? Three, four ones means what? Four. So accordingly, you do the thing, right? So we got this. Now, our what is our result? Our result is this part only, the blue color part only. The uh, This brown color is discarded bit, right? So now my result is this one. So what is my result? My result is positive or negative? My result is obviously negative. How do I know? Because in my result, this is my result. In my result, MSB is 1. MSB 1 means what? Result is negative. So what is this value? Take the 2's complement of it and then tell the binary of that. That will be the, uh, sorry, tell the decimal of that combination. That will be the value of your uh, means resultant, right? So that we will do. Two's complement of this one I will take. 
hope you remember how to take two's complement start reading from this side till you meet the first one so i got the one here so i written i have written one here then rest all other bits you need to flip flip means change so it is 1 0 0 0 so this is the value right if i do this see this one is what this part is 3 1 plus 2 is 3 then it is 2 4 16 32 next is 32 next is 64 64 plus 32 plus 3 is nothing but 99 but it was a negative result so minus 99 hope this part is clear this is so this is how we can apply bit pair recording of multipliers we'll try to do one more example quickly so see next i was doing plus 18 into minus 11 right so plus 18 is what 16 plus 2 right sine bit is 0 what is minus 18 i may require minus 18 so i have written it here take the two's complement of it so 0 1 will come directly after that all other bits are flipped then what is plus 11? 8 plus 3. And I need to represent both the operands using equal number of bits. So here I have written two more zeros. So make it of length six bit. It means that more bits are there, right? Then what is minus 11? Two's complement of it. Taken. Now I need to do the recording of the multiplier. We'll do that. So this one. This is 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0. This is on positive side. 0, 1, 0. So it will be your minus uh, plus one right then zero one zero zero one zero will be again plus one then one one zero it is negative minus one right so these three versions we need to take so this is our multiplier what is your multiplicand plus 18 plus 18 is here so it is written here then what is your multiplier plus one minus plus one minus one with a gap of one one b because we are doing the pairing right then now we can start the multiplication, right? So plus one means what? Directly take it. We have will take it and we'll extend the zero bit to the left to make it of length. How many bits? It is three, three, six, twelve bits, right? So three, three, uh, six more zeros we are putting. Why zeros? Because sine bit is here zero. Then again I need to do for this one. So for this one again you take it. Where from you start writing? Where this one is coming? So here I will write. So here this one is again I am writing extending the sign bit. Extending the sign bit is your 0. Then the last one is minus 1. Minus 1 means what? Take the 2's complement of it. What is that? 2's complement of it? 1, 0, 4, 1, 0. Then sign extension will be by 1. That you need to see. This is sign extension by 1. This sign extension is by 0. Because here sign bit was 0. Here sign bit is 1. So it is by 1. Please take care of this. Rest part will be fine only. Now we will do the addition. So see, this is 0, this is 1, this is 0, this is 1, 1, 1, this is 0. This carry will come, so it is 0. This is 1, 1, 1, 1. This is how I am going to get the values. I got the same values 4, 1, 2, 0, then 3, 1, 0, 1, 0. Result is positive or negative? Obviously, result is negative. So take the two's complement of it. Then after uh, after taking the two's complement of it, I got this. And by mistake, I forgot to mention here that minus sign. Result will be minus 198. It is not plus 198. Result is, as I have taken two's complement, that means obvious thing is the result is a negative value. So result is minus 198. By mistake, I forgot to put this minus sign, right? So... The, uh, by practicing this bit pair recording of multipliers, we can perform for any example. Do practice these questions. Take any multiplier, multiplicand multiplier and try it and use these videos to understand the process and apply it. Definitely, you will come up with a uh, correct results. So, thank you so much. And if you are getting from my explanations, then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.